Well, Piers Corbyn is an astrophysicist at the Long Range Forecasters WeatherAction.com. He's with me in the studio. You're not the man who predicted a barbecue summer, are you? No, we're the ones who said there would not be a barbecue summer. Well, good for you. Because <laughs> the weather is controlled by the sun in long range and in short range. So looking at the sun's activity then, you know, yes. what can we expect? What we can expect for the rest of August is more of, of the same. Pretty poor, wet, often thundery and generally cool for the time of year weather during the day. But as Catherine was saying, it's an 11 year cycle, is that right? There's an 11 year cycle of particles which come from the sun, um, but alternate cycles, they either get here more easily or less easily. We've just been through cycle number 23 and we're now starting cycle number 24. When it's been cooler, does it play into the hands of, of climate change sceptics? Well, <laughs> we, are, we are, if you would like to call us climate change sceptics, we call ourselves climate change realists, whereas we see what actually does control the weather and climate and we can use that to predict the weather a long time ahead. The driving force of all weather is particle activity from the sun and how it connects to the earth. It's an uh, amazing image that. It is fantastic. Why is it green? I'm sorry. Well sorry. that's just a, uh, a way they've, they've got a, some colour filter to, is it right? to look at a particular wavelength. But the idea that just because there's more activity on the sun it's going to be warmer is not actually true. It's not as simple as that. Okay. That is true over a very long average but the odd numbered cycles the connectivity is better between the sun and the earth than the even numbered cycles so although there is going to be more solar activity in the next uh, 11 years the, the connections are going to be less effective so actually we're entering a period a continuing period of world cooling right and it has been cooling since 2002 but from even though carbon dioxide is going up carbon dioxide does have no effect on climate Okay, from your research then, are UN estimates on, on climate change best case scenarios or worst case scenarios, accurate or not? No, not they're accurate? completely inaccurate and incorrect. They say because of more carbon dioxide the world will be warming. Well actually there's more carbon dioxide and the world is now cooling and it has been cooling since 2002. And our very long range forecasts of climate say that the world will carry on cooling at least until 2030 and it will stay generally cooler than now for the next hundred years. But this seems to be the opposite of what Catherine's saying in her report, that this, if it's an 11 year cycle and we're at the midpoint of the cycle, it's going to get warmer. No, no, I because think, right? the important part is a 22 year cycle. Right. What she says holds in alternate cycles when there's odd numbers. So this report from NASA about solar activity should really be considering solar cycle number 25, the one after the next one. Solar cycle 24, there's the relationship between solar activity and world temperatures is not, it's not straightforward. It's just not going to be more solar activity with warmer. It ain't a simple the, subject. No, yes, but there's I, also other things. lost me a little it. bit at some okay. point. Then. Well, the moon also interrupts the particles coming from the sun, and they they can they cause a 60-year cycle in world temperatures. Very interesting talking to you, Pierce. Thanks Thank for you. your time. Take care.